Mayor Adams, uh, Governor Hochul, General Garland, Commissioner Sewell, all my colleagues in government, men and women of the NYPD, President Biden, thank you for your leadership, uh, your partnership, for your presence uh, here in New York City. We believe the greatest uh, city in the world, with apologies to Wilmington, Delaware. <laughs> but every great city, of course, has challenges. And the stunning rise in gun violence is a major challenge for us uh, to address. But we recognize, as you have indicated, it's a national challenge. You think about the dynamic that we are confronting here in America. We have 4% of the world's population, but 40% of the world's guns. That means there are more than 300 million guns circulating in the United States of America. And many of those guns, such as the one used to strike down two heroes, Detective Rivera and Detective Mora, are weapons of war. They're not used to hunt deer. They're used to hunt human beings. That's not acceptable. Many of those guns too easily fall into the hands of violent individuals in far too many communities, such as many that I represent in central Brooklyn and across America. That's not acceptable. And far too many of those guns are illegally trafficked from other places into this great metropolis. That's not acceptable. So it's an all-hands-on-deck approach that will require tremendous leadership, as is being provided by our president, our governor, and our mayor, and our congressional delegation at all levels of government, city, state, and federal. And the congressional delegation in the House, Representatives Velasquez, Nadler, Espaillat, Meng, Swazi, and others, we stand ready to partner with you to get done what needs to happen to deal with this gun violence scourge with the fierce urgency of now, to make sure that we balance the interests of public safety and that important American principle of liberty and justice for all and invest <coughs> in communities that have traditionally been left behind to create opportunity in every single zip code. A tough moment for us in the city, but we're a resilient community, a resilient city, a resilient country. You can knock us down, but never knock us out, and together we will get this done. Thank you for your leadership, Mr. President. I now yield to my good friend, whose district we are in, here in Lower Manhattan, Congresswoman Nydia Velasquez.